Ellen Ratner is Bureau Chief of Talk Radio News Service, and Pete Snyder is CEO of Disruptor Capital. He's also Chairman of Governor Romney's Virginia Victory 2012 campaign, and both are Fox News contributors. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Thank you. Ellen. So, Ellen, I'm going to start with you. Uh, President Obama, he's your man. Are you disappointed in him by now? Are you disappointed in the promises not kept? Look, I think that uh, the president has had a very tough road to hoe, uh, particularly because the change in Congress. I think it's been very hard for him to get through a lot of the legislation he wanted. So, no, I'm not disappointed. Would I wish he would have done more? Sure, but he's got the political system to deal with, and it's not exactly President Obama friendly. So this, uh, this uh, I was going to talk to you, but this, this, uh, this uh, disappointment argument that's being made, clearly it is being leveled at those undecided voters, 6 to 8 percent of uh, independents that actually put into the White House um, back four years ago. So do you think that this is a valid argument and will it work? No, Heather, but, I know, absolutely, look, I, I, oh, I'm sorry, Heather, I, I don't, look, I don't think it's a valid argument at all. I mean, Ellen, Barack Obama controlled all of Congress and all of Washington for his first two years. So to say and blame Republicans for getting in the way and not letting him get things done, I mean, he wasted the first two years where he had unlimited power uh, in Washington uh, trying to ramrod uh, Obamacare through. He didn't focus on the economy at all. And independents and undecided voters are turned off by that. They want someone who's focused on the economy. They want someone who's focused on jobs. And that's why there's such a great bounce coming out of this convention and such terrific enthusiasm on the Republican side. Look, let's face it, uh, 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 Governor Romney did an incredible job on Thursday night. I thought it was a great speech. Uh, I thought he looked like somebody that a lot of people would want to invite in their living rooms uh, for the next four years. I, I didn't like the Ryan speech as much, but a lot of people liked uh, Congressman Ryan's speech. It, well, it, I thought it was not as, as passionate as Governor Romney's. But the president and the vice president now have this week to make their case and see if they're going to get a convention bounce. And, and Ellen, we're really not going to have our answer to Ellen, that. I want to check back in with you after next week to get your take on who you think did a better job at their acceptance speech, either President Obama or Governor Romney. And on that point, do you think that he can continue this momentum with the Democrats up all next week in Charlotte? Well, sure. I mean, I, 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 I don't know. It, 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 you know, I think if Governor Romney does what he, di he did, look, he didn't come out from the podium. He came out uh, among the people. Very smart move. And it obviously was extremely well received. That's what he has to continue to do. I still think President Obama's going to win, though. Pete, jump in. What do you think? Well, look, I, I think Governor Romney did a terrific job. I agree Ellen on that. Absolutely. You know, the thing, uh, I thought, I thought uh, uh, Paul Ryan's speech was terrific. Look, the American people do not want soaring rhetoric in Greek columns. They want real solutions. They want a ticket that's going to tackle our economy and they're going to tackle the big issues of the day, which are, are reforming entitlements in there. So uh, I could do without the, uh, the thrill up my leg a la Chris Matthews in Greek columns. Uh, America wants a turnaround team and turnaround artists, and that's what they have in Governor Romney and Paul Ryan. Yeah, you're no also starting to, on that stage. Uh, absolutely not. And you're, you're also starting to see Democrats being uh, depressed out there about the enthusiasm gap. If you look just in the Commonwealth of Virginia, where I'm, where I'm running the victory efforts, uh, liberal blog Blue Virginia is complaining today that there are no Obama signs anywhere and there's no enthusiasm in the street in the heart of Northern Virginia where they have to win, they have to run up the score if President Obama is going to get back in the White House. Yeah. So the enthusiasm gap is, is uh, all to the Republicans' advantage now. No green Wait, columns, the signs we, did will come. See, we did see Dirty Harry. I have to throw that in there because that <laughs> happened uh, to pop up on the video when you were talking. Did they do a good job of turning the focus back on the economy and Ellen you know Charlotte North Carolina that's where the Democrats are going to be all next week the fifth highest I believe unemployment rate in the country so folks there want to hear about the economy that's the issue they want to talk about 
Look, I think that what Governor Romney also has to do, because I think that President Obama and his team are going to ask, what are the specifics? And if Governor Romney wants to win this race, he's got to come down with the specifics. How is he going to accomplish it? How is he going to accomplish it with the Senate or a, a House that Ellen, may either be of his party or may not be? Ellen, there's a, there's a reason within North Carolina where you have such a high unemployment rate that the Democrats are pulling at. They chose to put their convention in North Carolina because it was is such an important swing state. Barack Obama is doing so poorly in that state because of its high unemployment, and he has no answers whatsoever, no record to show. Uh, Paul Ryan and, and, and Governor Romney have a 56-page plan focused on the economy with real specifics on how to turn America around. So, so well, Ellen, let me ask you know, you trying to pin this on, trying to say you don't have a plan is, is absolutely pathetic. All right. A we lot, have of, to wrap it up a lot there. of the jobs here went to China. All right, we have to wrap it up there, but thank you both for your insight. We'll check back in with you after the DNC gets their turn this coming week. Thank you. Thanks, Heather. Speaking of money spent, 